ओके ओके वन सेकंड ओके सो लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज यू नो राइट मोस्टली हाउ टू क्रिएट फाइल हाउ मेनी वेज वी कैन क्रिएट फाइल एंड सो मोस्टली एडिटर हाउ टू वर्क विथ एडिटर एंड आल्सो यस्टरडे मोस्टली वी डिस्कसड how to play with uh, some of shortcut keys right if you know shortcut keys we can easily work with editor even if you don't know we can work but it will take time right if you want to copy or if you want to paste it or if you want to do some alignment how to set it so already we see some of common uh, you know right shortcut keys windows how we are using same way <coughs> so if you want to work with uh, so we can use uh, so shortcut keys so last class we discussed a few things uh, how to copy mostly if you want to copy yy if you want to paste it p command if you want to copy yy paste it and also if you go to first line last line and uh, uh, start of the uh, you know right start of the line and uh, so end of the line so we are using some <coughs> basic shortcut keys right capital i capital a so how to insert middle and how to update and all so those are all the mm, okay page number editor va editor right so just control f editors okay working with uh, editors on right okay editor so last class we seen right uh, so that is the uh, this uh, we can use many editor we can install nano editor we can use g editor mostly it is available by default va editor available and with the help of uh, <coughs> you know right uh, so we can easily uh, and also we discussed a few things right uh, so how to insert data how to update see here up and the end of the line these are the shortcut keys uh, if you remember we can easily uh, understand this is very simple only and how to delete and how to copy and how to face delete means dd copy means yy so mostly we are using dd yy and all right insert next how to go how to copy multiple lines how to face it and also uh, you know right up left arrow right arrow and g means go to the end of the last line of the page and if you want to set uh, if you want to set if you want to set uh, su hyphen uh, you know right uh, so these are the if you want to set line numbers and all we can use uh, this and all okay and uh, so these are the mostly we are using uh, you know right editor i hope you got some idea right anyone any doubt here clear what tunnel clear let me open terminal okay now today we will see a few more commands how to copy and how to move in windows you know right uh, if you want to copy file if you want to copy file windows we are using one key shortcut key or we are using one command how to copy one directory to another directory suppose uh, here i have something for example here i have here i don't have anything here i have one file i want to copy this file if you want to copy this file so you are using some uh, command right control uh, c copy control c copy and uh, so go to that particular directory and uh, which way we are using here if you want to paste it same copy and if you want to paste it what is the command shortcut we are using right control v paste right clear yes or no so if you want to copy file one directory one folder to another folder or if you want to move file from one folder to another folder for example if you want to move see here control x x is nothing but cut control x is nothing but cut and if you go here paste if you go here paste both are same now we are in c this target folder but what is difference between copy and cut anyone any idea copy and cut copy and cut in windows we are using copy and cut right for example this is the one folder i have one file so this is another folder okay so copy means what is happening for example this is the abc for example here let me copy 
same thing for example this is the test file test.txt just assume this is the file if i use copy command what is happening if i use cp here uh, linux we are using cp command copy means so if we copy and paste here this is the source path this is the source directory this is the source directory and this is the destination this is the destination directory this is the destination directory destination uh, so directory now if i use copy paste anyone how it will work so now source also we can see file and the same way artham avutunda yes uh, same source lo untundi file this. same way we can see destination also got it same we can see destination also this is the copy copy means uh, that file is available uh, source and destination now there is one more command m move move command what is command move command move means anyone guess it now m o v move command uh, move means m e command move move means for example this is the file this is the file just assume uh, this is my file name this is the file sample dot txt now if i use move command what is happening or also we can use a uh, rename also move means uh, so directly it will come to destination only now source is available that is nothing but cut and paste right for example this is the file if i use control x here it won't available where is available wherever we paste it there only we can it is available see here i pasted here now we can't see here this is same only cut and paste copy means uh, we can see source as well as we can see destination also both areas where it is available uh, that is the copy move means just we are moving file from one location to another location got it anil any doubt yes, here sir. so that is same no. windows how we are working same way linux also we can now we come to linux so how to copy file so mostly we are using right if you want to copy file one place one locate one directory to another directory and one path to another part we are using cp command see now see here ls ls means uh, here i have many files see here devapps.txt file jenkins.txt file i want to copy this file to somewhere i want to copy this file to somewhere if you want to copy same we can copy somewhere or if you want to some other directory also we can go that path now just assume i want to copy devapps.txt and uh, so let me go to devapps directory this is the directory right first see is there any available cd space cd nothing but change directory cd space devapps now see here ls now i am in uh, i don't have anything here so this is the directory this is the directory i don't have anything here now what is my target uh, cd dot dot come outside directory if you want to copy file this file i want to copy this file to devapps directory so now this is the command so now this is the command what is this command cp copy cp is nothing but copy command cp is nothing but copy already everything available here and uh, so cp command cp copy so if you want to copy files one directory to another directory copy files present parent directory to so that case we can use uh, so cp command now there is separate path is there see here copy file size copying there is separate destination magic copy files copy command copy command means this is the cp command so copy command so to copy files copy from file 1 to file 2 or file to file we can use uh, so cp source file and destination wherever you want if you want to use uh, so copy so if you want to use uh, so copy file to directory or copy file to file also we can use uh, copy c1 to 
uh, file 1 to file 2 total content of the file 1 will be copied to file 2 this is one way now I'm using a uh, copy file to directory I'm directly copying file to some directory so whatever we want we can use it cp command so this is what is the command cp what is the command cp source file destination file first we will see this one first we will see this one copy hmm. now so before that uh, so now see here now see here cat space dev apps do we have any data here i don't have anything cat space jenkins.txt jenkins.txt Mm. cat space anil dot txt i have some data right i have some data here see here this is the anil dot txt but if you see here devops dot txt i don't have any content if you see jenkins dot txt i don't have any content now i want to copy that content to this file now see here what is the command cp source file name what is the source file name anil dot txt anil.txt and uh, so which file you want to copy which file you want to copy now I'm using a uh, so devapps.txt now got it clear so this is syntax now see here if you want to copy from file 1 to file 2 so now this is the source file name and destination file name now see here cat space devapps devapps.txt now content is copied or not clear Anil so if you want to copy so actually earlier in Anil Anil file I have this data now I want to copy this content to devapps so actually devapps I don't have anything now even if you observe here uh, Jenkins.txt do you have any data here cat space Jen uh, first uh, give ls command and uh, so cat space jenkins uh, jenkins dot txt i don't have any data here now suppose if you want to copy data some other file so here i have some data anil i want to copy this content to jenkins dot txt what is the syntax Ka cp cp space cp space source file name which is source which file you want to copy for example anil dot anil.txt this is my source file which file you want to copy that is the destination file jenkins.txt i hope clear right anyone any doubt here clear Ramya? yes sir okay this is the copy this is the one way now see here cat space so jenkins.txt jenkins.txt that's it now this is the file to file now what is now I want to copy this file to another directory I want to copy this file to another directory so now observe here here, here I have many files I want to copy this file devapps.txt to devapps directory or backup directory I want to move I want to copy this file to backup before move before move on to backup let's check let me check I do you have anything cd space BACK backup directory. Do you have any files? Only one file is available. Only one file is available. Okay. Now I am going to copy so anil.txt to this backup directory. Backup directory. So now come back. Come back. One step back. Where is your actual file? Original file? Here my original file. Now cp space. See here anil.txt and where you want to copy? Path where you want to copy path see here so where you want to copy so backup right so this is the BACA backup directory now got it so copy anil.txt file I want to copy to backup directory okay now file is copied now go and check it again go to backup directory CD space backup directory now check ls command now see here file is copied or not anyone any doubt still here clear Anil I hope got it right? okay that is a copy now 
now i copied right so copy means now i copy from here to here now we can observe here now two places we can see this file backup directory also we can see this file source also we can see this file got it right so this is the source path from here i copy to backup directory now this file we can see source also we can see destination also clear now if you want to same thing remaining all are same only whatever you want to we can check it now move move means rename see here moving and renaming the di uh, directories moving and rename the file there is one more copy to total directory and the directory so if you want to copy directory to directory also we can use it not specified iphone or so we can check this and all now renaming directory renaming directory removing files to directory now see here i want to move files to directory now this is the me command moving means me so now this is a file now try to understand this is a file jenkins.txt file available here now i am moving this file to backup directory this is a file now see here ls file jenkins.txt file i am move on to backup directory so go to backup directory first check it so we have only two files we have only two files anil.txt and hammond.txt now come outside cd one cd dot dot now check it here now i am moving jenkins me me space me space jenkins.txt jenkins.txt which directory you want to move this is a file i am me space file name jenkins.txt move on to which directory a directory move cheyal anukona nenu backup directory now got it anyone any doubt here now i am using move me source and this is my this file this is a file this file i want to move backup directory that's it anyone any doubt here hamant clear clear anil now ji here press enter now check it ls command now can you see jenkins dot file here anyone can you see jenkins dot txt file here no right yes or no yeah now where is that file i moved where is that file that file is available backup, backup directory. directory that's it cd space backup now see here that's it i hope now you got some idea right which case you go for copy and which case you go for uh, me command so move means uh, now source it is not available if you use move command if you use move command now in source it won't available this is a move so it is available only destination it is available only destination directory so if you use move command copy means we can see both us copy if you use copy command we can see source and destination both if you use move command we can see only destination directory we can't see source path that's it anyone any doubt still here clear right now how to rename the file there is one more command same for move also we can use two purpose two ways we can move files from source to destination and suppose if you want to change the file name so in windows if you want to change the file name what we will do anyone help me for example i want to change this file name we are using right click we are go to here there is one option right rename option we are renaming the file we are renaming the file this is a gui right we can easily handle rename the file name i want to rename this file name that's it in gui we can rename the file name whatever you want we can change it right click go to here and rename and whatever you want we can use it rename the file name but in ubuntu linux how to rename it now observe here so now i am in backup directory i want to rename this file name see i want to rename for example jenkins.txt file 
I want to rename to so some other name. Now see here what is the command mv Jenkins dot txt. I am using Jenkins new Jenkins. I am using file name is uh, new Jenkins. Okay, new Jenkins dot txt file. Now this is the actual file name. Now I am renamed to new file name. So mv. Now press enter. Now check it. Now anyone guess it? We can see this file name or we can see this file name. New Jenkins. New, new, Jenkins. Jenkins. new Jenkins file. That's it. See here, new Jenkins. Now mv command we can use. Uh, so we can use two ways, right? So if you want to, we can use move files. Now we know copy command. Cp means if you want to, we can copy files. Uh, uh, Cp. So Cp means copy file, file to file, or we can file to directory also. Now mv command. If you want to move, we can use move files. S path to source path to D path, destination path. And same way we can rename also. Rename me space and uh, so rename file name. File name and uh, so new file name. New file name. So two ways we can use it. So two ways we can use it. This is the so two ways, whatever you want, we can use it. That is copy and move, move command. Anyone, any doubt here? Now already many things here available. Whatever you want, we can uh, check it here. Now, so now we know how to create directory. Now we know how to copy, how to file, how to copy, how to rename, how to delete files. Uh, I hope few commands, uh, right? Uh, now let's paint. Now as of now these are the commands. Now we'll see some some advanced commands will go. Now we know what is PWD. I hope everyone know present working directory. As of now you know right PWD you know and what is touch command also you know what is cat command what is CD change directory and what is CD dot dot and what is uh, next uh, cat. MKDR, MKDR. If you want to create any directory, MKDR. And if you want to create any empty file, we can use it. And you know, VA command. And also copy. If you want to copy files, copy file to file or file to any directory also. And ME move command. Hmm. What else? Now you know what is LS command. Next, uh, list of files and directories. And also in LS, uh, there is many commands available, right? So these are the mostly frequently we are using how to create a RM command also you know RM remove directory and RM DAR how to remove the file and how to remove the directories how to remove the directories okay now last somewhere some last time one guy asked so they want to create a, so they want to create directories so generally if you want to create a directory what is the command Suppose MKDR. Uh, MKDR. This is a uh, right. Uh, this is basic command. MKDR. MKDR. Direct name. For example, here I am using AWS. I hope that directory is created. Now see here, directory is created. Okay. First, let me outside this directory. Okay. This is basic command. For example, I want to create directories like this. Now try to understand. So. I want to create a directory like this. They are expecting like this. Main directory, for example, AWS is the main directory. Under AWS, I want one subdirectory, Jenkins. Under subdirectory, I need one more subdirectory, for example, Maven. One more subdirectory, Maven. Like this. I hope you got it, right? Like this. So this is the, this is the root directory. This is the Jenkins is the subdirectory. Under this directory, Maven is the one more subdirectory. Under this, uh, Git is the one more subdirectory. Here, anyone any doubt? How to create like this? You know, right? Uh, so, if we give, uh, if we give one directory means so simply we are giving MKDR for directory name. So now, what is structure here? Like this, they want to create. So like this, they want to create. So how to create? Anyone, guys? Now I am giving same thing whether it is working or not. Check it. M K D A R. 
So first what directory you want? AWS. Under AWS, Jenkins directory. Under Jenkins directory, Maven directory. Under Maven directory, we are using git command. Now if you use like this, now see here, mkdir cannot create directory AWS Jenkins, no such file or directory. We are getting one error message. But how to create like this entire tree structure? Question Arthur in the Anil, clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now uh, they asked this question. So if you want to create one directory, simply we are using mkdr, right? mkdr and directory name. So automatically it will create. There is no doubt. 100% it will work. Now what they are expecting? They want to create like this. They want to create like this. So if you want to create like this, and uh, so there is a one command is there, iPhone P. What is the command name? iPhone P. So already here also available, we updated mkdir iPhone P. So what is here iPhone P? iPhone P is nothing but, <coughs> iPhone P is nothing but path of directories. Here what is iPhone P nothing but path of directories path of directories. If you want to create multiple uh, subdirectories as well under the root directory, iPhone P. Now see here, if already available, it will create, but this under not available, right? So it won't allow. So in this case, what you need to do, same command, I am using iPhone P. I am using iPhone P. So what is iPhone P, guys, here? Path of directories. We need to add one more arguments, iPhone P. Now it first it will create AWS, under AWS it will create a Jenkins subdirectory, under Jenkins it will create one more directory, Maven, under Maven it will create a Git directory. Anyone, any doubt? They asked this question. Clear? So usually you know, if you want to create a directory, mkdr directory name, that's it. Now if you want to create a multiple directories, under, uh, so this is a root directory, this is sub directory, this is one more sub, this is one like this. If you want to create iPhone P, what is iPhone P? This is the path of directories. We are mentioning path. A hey, first create AWS, under AWS create Jenkins, under Jenkins create Maven, under Maven create Git. Now see here, now I didn't get any error message. I didn't get any error message. Earlier also I given same command but I missed iPhone P. If already available, it will create. AWS not available. Jenkins also not available. Now what it will do? Now check it, ls command. Now see here, cd space AWS and ls. Now see here, one more directory created. cd space Jenkins. Now see here, here also one more directory created. Maven directory, cd space Maven and ls. So see here, git directory is created. I hope you got it right. Anyone, any doubt here? PWD. Now this is the path. See here. So AWS under Jenkins created, under Jenkins Maven created, under Maven Git directory is created. iPhone P. What is the argument you need to pass? iPhone P. So they asked this question. So they want to create. If you want to, we can create manually also. First create AWS directory. Next, go to that directory. Again, you need to create a Jenkins directory. Again, go to that directory. We can create mkdr maven. Again, go to maven directory. We can use a mkdr git also. That is time waste, right? Clear? Yes or no? Instead of creating multiple times, if you want to create this entire structure at a time, we can use hyphen p iPhone P is nothing but path, that is the path, you know, right? So what is this? Path of directories. iPhone P is nothing but path of directories. Now got it, guys? Anyone, any doubt? Clear, Anil? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if you want to come outside the directories, so, I have to root A command is Anyone? I want to come outside the directories. Now, I mean, uh, so AWS under Jenkins, under Maven, under Git. I want to come outside these directories. 
cd cd space dot dot right come outside the one directory one okay directory nunchi byte ochindi git now one more time we need to use cd dot dot so maven nunchi byte ochcham next cd space dot dot jenkins nunchi cd space so suppose if we have 10 directories how many times we have to use it 10 times right now got it ipudu ara manake em telusu oka directory ki ellalante cd space directory name directory nunchi byte ravalante cd space dot dot exit from the directory suppose if we have 10 directories how we can come outside all directories now I am in in this path. This is my path. In my ever cd pseudo space cd space iphone iphone pseudo root user cause e directory is quite a challenge. E directory say only. If you four directories in the e four directories in the byte of challenge. Just a CD, sir, without CD. dots. Enter. Huh? Yes, sir. Now got it. Clear. Just a CD means it will come to your user directory. Directly it will come to your home user directory. That's it. Already chaplet gather, so that's okay. CD. Our CD space also we can it will work. No problem. CD space also it will work. CD space means it will come to your so default directory that is the home and uh, so that username that's it okay now we know copy you know move you know and all now very very important command interview purpose most of the cases of people are asking a gref command so now we know some basic commands how to check how to create file how to add content how to edit file how to save file and all now this is very very important gref command so this is the G R E P grep. Okay. So now grep command. Grep stands for see here globally search regular expressions and print it. Global regular expression. This is the command. Grep space pattern space file name. So we can use grep command to search the given pattern in the single or multiple files. So Windows, you know, write a search command. For example, this is my file, just assume. Uh, so go to here somewhere, any file. Just assume this is my file name. I'm opening this file. Mm, where is edit? Okay, anything. Just edit the file. So here I have some data. So here I have some data. So in this data, this is my file. Here I have, men, here I have so many lines. Here I have, this is my content. I want to search something in this file. In Windows, you know, write a notepad, anything. If you open notepad something. Now see, let me open notepad. We are using search command, right? We are using search command. So how to search it? How to search it? For example, this is a file. So this is the file. This is a file. Just assume this is a file or any file. Mm, some other content, new. Unlimited. Anything. So we are using uh, so control F. What is that? Notepad plus plus. Just to open. I have many things here. Uh, now this is just assume this is a file. If you want to search, we are using control F. We are using uh, some content, right? See, find what. Find what. For example, I need to search something uh, app. Where is app? I want to find something. Control F. We are using right find. Where is app? See here app available two places. App available two places. Same way in Linux in Ubuntu, how to search data? How to search the data? So mostly this is very very important. Enter purpose also. Most of the people they are asking this command. 99 percent not 99 100 percent if they asked any questions in linux most of the cases they are touching this command most of the cases they are touching graph command so this is very very important 
how to search. See here, we can use grep command to search given pattern or single or multiple files. I want to search something. So how to search? So how to search? So this is the this is the command. This is the command. This is the command. Now <coughs> save me whatever you want. Just I am copying something. It is not copying. Okay. Control C. Now I am using uh, so some file for testing purpose only. Same data I am copying and paste it. VI file name. VL file name. So VI file name uh, dot txt file I given subject. Okay. So if you want to add data, insert. And uh, so already I copied, right? Paste it. It is not copied everything. So remove this one. It is not pasted everything. Just I am copying this one. First, just I am pasting here. Okay. Now, so this is the, this is the subject. This is the, just assume uh, anything, whatever you want, we can add it. For, uh, I need test data, right? Uh, so that is the reason uh, I am adding here. Just I am aligning whatever you want. Or if you want to any so for example Python 10,000 okay Java 20,000 I'm giving some amount so Unix 5,000 for Dev Apps 25,000 these are the for test data for Unix. So 12,000. I give one. Now see here how many columns. This is the first column. This is the subject names and faculty. I am giving something fees and all. Now escape. Save the file. Escape. Colon. X. R W Q. W Q. Save and quit the file. Now check this whether it is saved or not. Cat space subject.txt file now this is my file this is my text file now i want to search something in this file just assume here only five five rows right we can easily see and we can easily find but if you come to real time so there is lot of data right file means so it has lot of data so how to search how to search particular string or anything whatever you want we can do something now this is c i want to search something in the file I want to search one keyword in the file. I want to search one keyword in the file. So where is DevOps? I need to search it. So this is the command. What is the command? See here, grep grep space, grep space, DevOps, DevOps, and file name. What is my file name? Subject dot txt. See here. Here I passed it correct only, but I am not getting output. Why it is not getting output? Anyone? So this is the string, right? This is the string dev apps, but this is the file name. This is the command grep space string. I passed some name. I passed. I want to search dev apps, but if I pass here, here if you observe here, dev apps is the O is the upper case, but here I passed lower case. So it won't allow. It won't allow. If you want to search particular string, we need to give proper name. Now in this case I am giving uh, so see I am giving O dev apps. Now see here what is that row fourth row dev apps it is highlighting red also. So what is the faculty everything we get that row entire row you got it. You need to give proper name as it is this is case sensitive right. Sorry even if I pass upper case lower case I want to find that particular string. So that case we need to use this is a command. GREP grep space iphone i iphone i means ignore iphone i means ignore ignore case sensitive whatever it may be now i am using dev apps and what is the file name dot txt now see here now got it guys so if you want to search any string any string whatever you want so here high means ignore case whether it is upper case or whether it is lower case, whatever it may be. If you want to give, if you want to search like that, 
we need to give i for an i. Clear ma? Anyone any doubt here? Grep space string name anything we can pass it and file name which file you want to search? Clear Anil? So what is i means? Ignore case. Ignore case means case sensitive. Whether it is upper case or whether it is lower case, I want to search it. Clear? Hello, Hammond, clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is very, very important. In intro purpose, most, most of the case they are asking grep command. So they want to search something. So what is the command? Grep space, grep space. Now I'm using, uh, for example, Java. So and file name. What is the file name? Subject.txt. This is the file name. In this file, whether Java keyword available or not, I want to search it. If I give like this, it, I am not getting any output. Already Java is available, but Java they given J is capital letter, right? So it is searching, it is case sensitive. It is searching only small j, small j and uh, Java only it is searching. So whether it is upper case or whether it is lower case or whether it is camel case, uh, any case I want to search. That case, grep grep space. What is if and I? Ignore case. Ignore case means, hey, whether it is upper case or whether it is lower case, just search my string, that's it. Got it? I means ignore case. Leave that case sensitive. And you make upper case and lower case. I want to search my string. That's it. So that case we need to use I for I. I for I is nothing but I for I is nothing but ignore case. For example, I want to search something. See here, grep space. Or else we can give double quotation also, string. See here, for example, I am using dev apps. So, svb.txt. We can say string, we can pass double quotation also. If you want to, we can pass double quotation also. Anyway, it will search. For example, I need to check, uh, check uh, so 25,000, what is the course name? I want to check 25. See here, grep space, and uh, I am giving 25. Somewhere where 25 is available or not. I need to check it. See here. So what is this? DevOps. So in DevOps, this row, line number four, so there is a 25,000, it is finding. But this is a number, right? This is not uppercase, this is not lowercase. So number we cannot pass, right? Uppercase we cannot pass like lowercase. That is only universal format, right? We are form, we are uh, entering. So that is the reason. In this case, number of case, we no need to pass I and I. What Anil? So number of money I even also la. Number means number only. Anywhere we are passing, only universal format. Only one format we are passing number. So in this case, no need to give I and I. But a string, string means we can pass uppercase letters. Uppercase lo passes or lowercase lo passes. Manu. Name manedi. So that case we need to use I and I. Got it? Anyone any doubt here? This is very, very important. How to search, how to search the string. Now see here, we are using something, remaining same only. And uh, so whatever you want, we can print it. Now see here, to search in multiple files. Suppose if you want to search in multiple files, we can use same command and we need to pass multiple file names. Now same thing, let me copy and paste it. I'm using one more file. So vi, vi, sub onetxt one dot txt, one dot txt, and uh, so one dot txt, uh, insert, let me delete this, let me copy same content. How it is searching also, how it is searching two files, how it is searching two files. Now, I am pasting same thing, okay. How it will search. If you want to, we can search multiple files also. 
if you want to we can search multiple files also now as of now i searched only single file now i'm going to search multiple files now i'm going to search multiple files escape colon x save and quit the file now see here if you want to search multiple files same see here grep space iphone i iphone i dev apps dev apps sub.txt space sub1.txt i am using two file names i hope you got it right how to search multiple files see here i am passing two file names remaining same only syntax wise same only grep space iphone i ignore case dev apps first file name second file name like this if you want to we can pass two file names now see here now this data is coming from which file this data id file undi data see here subject sub1.txt file and this data is coming from sub.txt file i hope you got it right yes sir okay so this is very very important command just try to practice sir so if you want to syntax is very simple only grep space string name and file name and if you want to search multiple files we can pass multiple files sir. and if you want to ignore case sir, i for i i for i is nothing but ignore case sir. whatever we are passing whether it is upper case or whether it is lower case i don't want to consider like that so that case we can pass i for i so this is the same now see here if you want to search we can search here now i want to search my file multiple files i am not mentioning uh, one file name here i am mentioning only only uh, what is this uh, two files right now come to here now see here for example i am going to some file devapps.txt now i am going to cat space devapps.txt devapps.txt okay so here i am going to add my name i want to search something right i are also i am going to add devapps name anything something bi vi devapps devapps.txt so i am going to add some content so devapps insert insert devapps ops or i am using also 10000 something i need to match some word right that's it now see here escape colon x now there is one more command if you want to search multiple te all text files so if you observe here so here many text files available see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 text text files files available 9, 10 text files, 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 text files available in all text files i want to search one string so as of now you know how to search one file you know how to search multi two files no 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 i have multiple files i want to search all files how to search it see here grep space i for i i am using i for i dev apps whatever you want or we can use small letter also anyway i am using i for i right dev apps space star.txt so what is here star star represents any file name what is here star represents any file name here i have multiple files file name should be anything i given star star represents anything and extension should be txt file which file you want to compare which file you want to search only text files నా ఫైల్ని ఎక్కడ సెర్చ్ చేయాలి నేను ఇచ్చే కంటెంట్ని నేను ఇచ్చే స్ట్రింగ్ డేటాని ఆల్ టెక్స్ట్ ఫైల్స్ బట్ ఫైల్ నేమ్ ఐ డోంట్ నో విచ్ ఫైల్ వేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అవైలబుల్ ద ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ షుడ్ బి టెక్స్ట్ అంటే ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ టెక్స్ట్ టెక్స్ట్ ఎక్కడెక్కడ ఉందో ఈ ఫైల్ మొత్తాన్ని సెర్చ్ చేయాలి బట్ ఫైల్ నేమ్ షుడ్ బి ఎనీ నేమ్ ఫైల్ నేమ్ అనేది ఏదైనా ఉండొచ్చు స్టార్ రెప్రజెంట్స్ ఎనీ నేమ్ స్టార్ రెప్రజెంట్స్ ఎనీ నేమ్ నవ్ గాట్ ఇట్ గైస్ ఎనీ వన్ ఎనీ డౌట్ హియర్ same only 
ప్రీవియస్ ఏం చేశాను వన్ ఫైల్ ఇచ్చాను టూ ఫైల్స్ ఇచ్చాను ఇప్పుడు మల్టిపుల్ ఫైల్స్ స్టార్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి స్టార్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి మీన్స్ స్టార్ రెప్రజెంట్స్ మల్టిపుల్ ఫైల్స్ ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ ఏ ఫైల్స్ని చెక్ చేయాలి ఓన్లీ టీఎక్స్టి ఫైల్స్ని ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ ఇట్ వోంట్ చెక్ లాగ్ ఫైల్ ఇట్ వోంట్ చెక్ దీస్ డైరెక్టరీస్ అండ్ ఆల్ ఓన్లీ ఇట్ విల్ చెక్ ఓన్లీ ఇట్ విల్ సెర్చ్ దీస్ ఫైల్స్ ఓన్లీ సో దిస్ ఫైల్ అనిల్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి ఫైల్ వన్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి ఇలా ఎక్స్ ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ మనకి టీఎక్స్టి ఏ ఫైల్కి ఉందో ఓన్లీ ఇట్ విల్ సెర్చ్ దట్ ఫైల్స్ ఓన్లీ నౌ సీ హియర్ నౌ సీ హియర్ డెవాప్స్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి డెవాప్స్ వన్ వోడ్ ఈస్ దేర్ లైనెక్స్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టిలో డెవాప్స్ ఉంది మావన్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టిలో కూడా ఉంది డెవాప్స్ నెక్స్ట్ ఎస్ మావన్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి వన్ మోర్ ఉంది నెక్స్ట్ టూ టైమ్స్ మ్యాచ్ అయింది ఇక్కడ మావన్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టిలో నెక్స్ట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి వన్ వోడ్ ఈస్ దేర్ అండ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వన్ డాట్ ఎస్యూబి వన్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి దర్ ఈస్ వన్ వోడ్ ఈస్ దర్ ఐ హోప్ యూ గాట్ ఇట్ రైట్ ఎనీ వన్ ఎనీ డౌట్ మా క్లియర్ అనిల్ హేమంత్ సిర్ ఐఎమ్ యూజింగ్ టెన్ థౌజండ్ టెన్ థౌజండ్ ఎక్కడెక్కడ ఉందో నాకు సెర్చ్ చేయాలి ఏ ఫైల్స్ లో టెన్ థౌజండ్ ఉంది రైట్ ఐఎమ్ యూజింగ్ స్టార్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి సో ఇఫ్ యూ హీస్ సి హియర్ ఎక్కడెక్కడ ఉంది టెన్ థౌజండ్ ఓన్లీ టూ ఫైల్స్ డెవాప్స్ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టిలో ఒక టెన్ థౌజండ్ ఉంది సమ్వేర్ అండ్ ఎస్యూబి డాట్ టీఎక్స్టిలో ఒక టెన్ థౌజండ్ ఉంది దర్స్ ఇట్ so now if you want to search multiple files we can use like this also so txt file ne search cheyali no 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 i want to search only log so here log file okati undi only i want to search log file i want to search only this file now check it whether it is available or not now i am using log file so whether log lo 10000 unda ledha search cheyali see here i am not getting anything i am not getting anything what is this meaning if you are not getting anything means so there is no matched content there is no matched content you know right one file all users available which file guys all users and all available which file there is a configuration etc directory under etc there is one file name what is that file name all users name list 2 days mundu discuss chesam kada cat space all configuration directory etc pass wd this is the file name this are the users list in this user in this file my username is available or not i want to search it now tell me command how to search it now you know right grep space hmm grep space hyphen i my username mark konda what is the file name where your file is available cheppandi slash etc slash what is the file name pass wd you know this file e file lo users list anta untundi ikkada i want to search my user name is available or not that's it now see here now see here available for example i am giving uh, uh, anil user whether that user is available or not now check it we are not getting anything what is this meaning we are not getting anything means uh, that user name is not available if you want to check manually also we can check it cat space etc slash pass wd now see here mark on the user name ikkada undi for example i want to search some any other username see here uh, root user whether root user is available or not in this file so clear the screen so root user i want to check what is the username root r o o t root root user means ad- uh, super user see here root also available so this is a command so grep what you understand grep means searching purpose if you want to search something if you want to search something you for go for grep command see grep stands for globally search what is this globally global search global means 
anywhere wherever you want we can search it that is your wish if you want to we can search particular file or if you want to we can search it multiple files or if you want to we can search it specific pattern files that is your wish that is your requirement so if you want to search anything if you want to search anything what is the command grep command what is the command grep command anyone any doubt still as of now what is the purpose why you go for grep command very 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 important interview purpose not only interview real time also most of the cases i am also using this command if i want to search any word for example tomcat log for example i have a log file build fail file i have in jenkins you know right build fail build fail aina pass aina manaku oka log vastundi aa log lo nenu oka word search cheyali linux machine lo how we can search it windows kaadu kada file ni open cheskoni chudadaniki man search kotadaniki control f and then that is the ubuntu machine so how to search if you want to search anything so this is the command so grep space string name this is the syntax name string name any name we can pass it and file name clear guys anyone any doubt as of now hello this is very very important ma real time as well as interview purpose also so how to search the how to search any string so there is multiple example available here just uh, check it here how many how to check single file and all multiple words search by ignore case i for i display the number of occurrences i want to see how many times repeated i want to see how many times repeated i for c i for i and i for i means you know count, uh, ignore case now there is a one command i for c count how many times it is repeated how many times it is repeated now see here uh, go to here go to here i am going to search the same now go to here this is the file name right so grep space now see here grep grep space i for i i am using so i am using name and uh, so svp.txt see here two times it is matched now i am using i for c now i am using i for c i for c and right now i am using upper case only now see here how many times two times two times two times or if you want to we can use i for n also these are the arguments remaining and all your wish remaining and all your wish which line see here which line this is the fourth line and also this is the sixth line so there is many ways we can pass see here i for n you have see display the line numbers if you want to line numbers i for n if you want to count i for c if you want to count i for c if you want to display line number also i for n i for i means ignore case i for c means count i for n means line number now same like this whatever you want we can see and does uh, display the only file names which pattern and this case i for l <coughs> so if you want to we can use i for l also see here i for l and means uh, they want to see they want to see file name only they want to see only file name only file name i don't want so which file it is available which file it is finding which file it is finding if you want to see if you want to check it i for l i for l means file name only n means line numbers c means count c means count now there is mean i for v i for v means uh, that is the uh, print exact match line numbers remaining lines i for v see here i don't want everything i v i need v only see here except that line remaining lines only i want to display except that line mark and is matched somewhere i don't want that line remaining data i need i don't want only that data i don't want that data so apart from that so i need all content i need to display all content so that is the i for v see remaining lines i for v 
hyphen V remain links. So now if you want to search hyphen I already know W means now see here W. So these are the arguments guys whatever you want uh, we can use it W. Now see here same line numbers this is word word spe specific to search the exact word W means word exact word. So that case we can use whatever you want okay. So we can use I and If you want to we can pass multiple also at a time also. Multiple. No need to give one one also. Suppose I am giving uh, so ignore case and also I am giving n and also I am giving count or n also. Line number count I need. See here. So now we can use n also. Ignore case and line numbers also. I don't want this and all. Uh, I want to apart from this V remaining lines remaining lines see here remaining. So these are the arguments that based on your requirement we can pass anything based on requirement we can pass anything whatever you want we can pass anything whatever you want we can pass anything. So C means count W means word exact word match N means line numbers N means line numbers remaining L means only file name if you want to display only file name if you want to display only file name L we can pass it clear guys anyone any doubt as of now I hope you got some idea right so what is the grep command and which case you should go for grep command searching for person if you want to search something so you should go for grep okay